Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is a quick how to change your oil, uh, quick little video. It's real simple, real easy. Um, yeah, the day I got the motorcycle, I didn't even start it one time. I changed the oil right away on my X18, and that's because that's what was recommended to me by the company. Uh, I called minipocketrockets.com and spoke with someone because I had read around and did some research and I had heard the best thing to do was to change the oil right away. So I called them and they confirmed that it is true. When you get the bike, you should change the oil right away because the oil that comes with it, A, it's a really cheap oil that they put in in China when they built it. B, it's been sitting in there for months. You figure if you just got your bike, let's say today, you know, they probably built it five months ago and then they shipped it all the way over here on a container and then that went on a tanker and then the container got off the tanker and then got on a flatbed truck and then went to the warehouse and it may have sat in the warehouse for three months. So let's say it's been sitting there a total of five months before you got it. You think about it, if you have a car and you haven't started it in five or six months, you're probably not just going to drive it on the same oil. You're most likely going to change the oil first. So same principle applies here and it's a four stroke motor so I use four stroke regular motorcycle oil by Valvoline four stroke a 1040 motorcycle oil and at the bottom here it says superior wet clutch protection because there's a you know clutch inside so it's good for your wet clutch so four stroke because you got a four stroke motor people have asked me can you use two stroke oil to my knowledge no from my understanding two stroke belongs in a two-stroke four-stroke belongs in a four-stroke very simple just do what they say and the bike should be fine but to my knowledge two-stroke gets mixed in with gasoline first you take your two-stroke you mix it in with gasoline and then that goes inside your lawnmower or your gas edger something of that nature and that's how that works this bike is just like a regular motorcycle or car where gas goes in the gas tank and oil goes in the engine so two-stroke needs to be pre-mixed. This four-stroke works just like a regular car. So gas in the gas tank, oil in the engine. How you change your oil? Very simple. Under here, there's three bolts. So, well, there's three, one, two, three, and then there's two on a little bracket. So get your wrench, get it on the nut behind there, and then you know get your drill and or screwdriver and undo them total five in the interest of time i've already taken them off it's up to you if you want you could take off all of these and make it easier i guess for getting to the where the bolt is to drain the oil but the thing with that is remember there's a nut behind each one of these and you need to get your wrench behind there behind there you know on the nut and then take your drill and undrill it so it's a bitch to get to me Here's what I did. I removed the five under here and then I just kind of just pulled the fairing out this way. And what I did was just stuck like my screwdriver right here, you know, in there to kind of hold it open. And then I just got a little 99 cent plastic tray from like Target and then it just sits under there. Now you see that bolt right there? And you're probably like, okay, what bolt? Okay, right here, right where my finger is that bolt right there. You undo that one bolt and then the oil will drain. And you just need a little pan like that because it's not a lot of oil at all. It's not even one quart. So once it's done draining, then you go ahead and put the bolt back in there. And then you can go ahead and put your screws back in there, take your oil, and then the oil goes right here. You unscrew the cap, no big deal. You know, get your uh, funnel stick it in there and put your oil in there people have asked how much oil goes in there not even a whole quart i would say about three-fourths but all you got to do is add the oil and just keep checking your dipstick as long as it's wet in the x mark right there just fill it up while it's to the x there's little x's on the dipstick just fill it up so you see it on the x's to the top right there at the very very bottom like to there you only want to fill it all the way up to the left right there so you know just check your dipstick and just fill it up till it looks full on the dipstick right here's a little window where it showed you know oil when I first got the bike it had the oil was all the way full but ever since I drained it and added new oil it hasn't so I don't know what's going on with that and this is just telling you when to change your oil after the first time you use it after 300 miles and after that 
every thousand miles. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to know how many miles you've been when there's no mileage counter on here. So, you know, I would say just once the oil starts to look dirty pretty much. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Very simple, very easy. That's the oil I use. That's the oil that was recommended to me by the company. Four stroke, you put it in there. That's how you take it out. When I first got the bike, I never even started it. I drained the oil right away and went with that oil. It's completely up to you, it's your motorcycle, but you know, this is just what I did. So that's it. Any questions on changing the oil, um, go ahead and let me know, but yeah, that's it on changing the oil, very easy. You undo these one, two, three, four, five, you know, just kind of pull it, stick something in here so it'll stay open. Stick your pan under there, undo that bolt with your socket or wrench, and then it'll just go ahead and drain. Once it's done draining, 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 you know, come back in like five minutes, you know, put your bolt back up in there. You can put the plastic back. So, I'm sorry, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then there's one more screw that goes right in there. So, no big deal. So, you do that. And then go ahead and add your oil. And if you're not sure how much oil to put in, just keep checking your dipstick. But it takes about three-fourths. So that's it. Okay, you guys, take it easy.